Hey everyone, I'm James Riley, and I'm back to read more story thieves for you. We're on chapter 5, and it's going to be a short one. Sorry about that. The last one is kind of longer, though, so it all evens out. In the last chapter, we had Bethany and Owen talking about Bethany's powers, like how she got them, because she has a fictional father, uh, and that her mom somehow met him um, in our world. Didn't, she doesn't really know how. Uh, we also heard about her fourth birthday party where she accidentally pulled the entire party into the into a book that she received as a present, and that's how she lost her dad, because she brought him into the book as well, and then brought everyone back out, except for him. And we don't know what happened there. We will eventually find out. Uh, but all she knows is that she left him there, and it's her fault. Whether or not that is, is we'll find out. But she feels guilty, and she's been searching for him ever since. And this has given Owen an idea that like maybe he could use some magic to find her dad. And the best place for magic would be his favorite series, Kill No Foot, uh, Magic Thief. So um, Owen might have some extra motivation there. But uh, Chapter 5, Story Thieves. Owen stared at Bethany across the cafeteria, an empty feeling in his stomach. It wasn't entirely a trick, honestly. There was a spell in the Magister's spellbook that might help her find her father, and after learning that Bethany's father was missing, Owen really did want to help. It just felt wrong, though, to use that as an excuse to get him into the book. Even if all he wanted to do was perform an amazing, heroic, life-saving, awesome act of goodness, even if this was clearly the thing he'd be meant to do with his whole life saving the Magister, maybe he should just tell her the truth? He knew that Bethany would never go for it, since he'd be changing the story. And that seemed to freak her out more than any, almost anything. Anything other than learning magic, at least. But then he wouldn't feel so guilty. And besides, what did he have to lose since she wasn't taking him anyway? Owen glanced over at her, at her long reddish-brown hair, and wondered who her father might actually be. Was it someone famous, like Sherlock Holmes? James Bond? He came from books, too, didn't he? Or maybe somebody like Gandalf? The wizard seemed kind of old to be someone's father, though. Grandfather, maybe, but father? Or maybe it was some character from one of those romantic books that people were always checking out but trying to hide the covers from Owen at the counter like they were embarrassed. That seemed like a possibility, considering her mom had fallen in love with her father by reading about him. According to Bethany. Who did that? Who fell in love with a character from a book? Whoever Bethany's father was, maybe Owen could still help, though. Not by jumping into the books with her, because she wasn't going to let him, but by reading and keeping an eye out. That was what he should do. Tell her the truth, that he really wanted to go into Kiel Nomenfoot in the end of everything to save the Magister, then say how sorry he was and offer to help her find her father to make up for it. He stood up to do just that, only to notice that Bethany had disappeared from the cafeteria. But she had left something at her table, the book she'd been reading. He walked over, making sure no one was watching him too suspiciously, then grabbed the book. Kiel Nomenfoot, Magic Thief. The first book in the series. And stuck inside like a bookmark was a note. I'm in. Bethany. What? She was in? Owen's eyes widened and he began to shake. He quickly sat down so no one would see his trembling, but he couldn't stop the grinning. It felt like the smile was bigger than his face, but he didn't even care. They were going to save the Magister? Everyone in this cafeteria, everyone in cafeterias all over the world would read the book, see Owen's name, and watch him save Keel's magic teacher. Would they throw him parties? Come up to him all shyly to ask for his autograph? Probably. Start a national holiday for his birthday and then no mail would be delivered because too many postal workers had to celebrate everything about Owen Connors? It's just logic. Or would something really amazing happen, like Owen and Keel would become best friends and Keel would ask him for his help now that Dr. Verity was taken care of? Help with what, Owen would ask. Something mind-blowing, Keel would say and wink. Keel always winked. That was so Keel, especially with his best friends. A small, tiny, minuscule part of Owen decided to be a downer and reminded the rest of him that Bethany knew none of this and was going to be extremely not happy when she found out. That same part suggested that he still apologize and tell her the truth. But the rest of Owen knew that this, the small part was right. He should. He should. On the other hand, was an apology worth letting a great man like the Magister just die? Of course not. Owen crumpled Bethany's note up tossed it into the trash, then left the cafeteria to make some plans. Plans to take down a mad scientist, save a master magician, and become a hero to the entire world. Bam! Yeah, so, uh, Owen is very much like me. Um, I'm not that proud of this. Uh, he's not being a very good guy here. He should tell Bethany. He knows he should. He knows what the right thing to do is. Sometimes you have characters that are going to do the wrong thing first, and they have to learn from that. 
uh, funnily enough, a lot of people read this book and didn't really like Owen. Uh, and I always thought that was kind of not funny because I want everyone to like Owen. But it was also like, sorry, I I don't know what I would do if I were kind of given this opportunity. I hope I would do the right thing. Um, and I hope I would not trick Bethany because that's awful um, and leads to a whole story of trouble. Um, I hope that I would tell her the truth and that maybe we could just be friends. But uh, a small part of me worries that I would do what Owen did. So um, hopefully you enjoyed that and we will get to uh, chapter six and the next time and see what actually happens when they head into the book. Thank you so much.